Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Pete on Retreat. Is this going to be my last video ever? Stick around and maybe we'll all find out. First off, I want to apologize to everybody for disappearing for the last month or six weeks or however long it's been. I've been doing just fine, no reasons to worry, and I'll catch everybody up on what's going on here in Thailand towards the end of the video. So, what happened? Two months ago, I went to Japan for my 50th birthday. Japan was absolutely amazing, although it was incredibly hot. I definitely do not recommend going there in July. I came back from Japan and slowly started to return to my normal life here in Thailand. I started going back to the gym. I returned to my school where I study the Thai language three days a week. And I had a bunch of friends here that it was time to catch up with. That first week back in town, I also had some viewers here visiting that I wanted to take the opportunity to meet. Because of the random timing of several events here in town, including a couple birthdays, I was presented with more social outings than I normally get. This is a good problem, right? All of these fun social opportunities led me to abandon and break my personal rule of only going out to drink two or three nights a week. Yeah, for about three weeks, I was on a small party and booze binge. I was going out four or five nights a week, all three weeks. I was still doing my YouTube work during those three weeks. I came back from Japan and I edited up a video of some of my Thai friends taking me out to try Isan food for the first time. This was my second video in what I had hoped would be a good series for the channel, uh, but sadly neither video did all that well. They didn't do badly per se, but they definitely didn't get the attention and views that I thought and hoped they would. I also edited up my first video from Japan. It's basically me in this big park in Tokyo talking about my experiences at the Disney Tokyo parks for my birthday and kind of recounting some of my culture shock and my first couple days in Tokyo after staying at the parks. And my God, did I find it boring. I don't think I'm ever going to post it to my channel. It's just not the quality that I expect for my channel. And honestly, that level of quality is not even that high to begin with. After my three week bender of partying and alcohol, I decided I wanted to film another vlog. I themed the entire vlog about the idea is living in Pattaya turning me into an alcoholic. I recounted some highlights from my three weeks of partying. I talked about how I abandoned my own limits on drinking only two or three nights a week. I talked about how I had that rule in place, but mostly the video was just highlighting the great times I had all three weeks. And I really did. I had a great time all three weeks and even with all those extra nights of going out, it didn't slow down my normal life here. I was still going to the gym, still going to school. It didn't have any negative impact on my life, but it resulted in me drinking more often than I want to. The video ended with me talking about how I am going to now take 31 days off with no drinking at all. I'm going on the wagon and that's my own personal punishment for allowing myself to break my rules. Well, I filmed that vlog by my pool and my pool's got this awesome waterfall feature. Unfortunately, the sound from the pool ruined my video's audio quality and I just found it unusable. A few days later, I came out here and reshot the entire vlog doing one of these walk around town videos that I'm known for doing. When I began editing the video, I once again found myself just not being happy with the overall quality of it. This time it wasn't really the quality, it was more just the theme. 
The video had some fun stories because like I said, I had a great time those three weeks, but it was really just recalling my nights going out and partying with different people. It's not what I've ever wanted this channel to be about and it's not the focus on my life that I want to present. After my two food videos didn't do that well and after how boring I found my Japan video, I decided not to put this vlog out either. At this point, it had been about a month since I had posted a video and I started realizing maybe my channel was dead. After another week or so, I thought about making this video. You know, this whole what's going on with my channel and is it over. Honestly, I wasn't feeling very motivated to make it though and it's taken me a couple weeks to do it. I'd wake up in the morning with the intent to shoot some video and then just couldn't find the motivation to do it. I've run into a few of my viewers here in the neighborhood and they asked me what was going on. I didn't have much of an answer except to say that I haven't been feeling it and it's possible this channel is just over. There may be no more peed on retreat. So that's what's happened to my channel. Now to briefly catch you all up on my life, things are good. I mean, they're really good. I'm fully back in the gym. Uh, I'm going almost every day now. Thai school is going well, although I'm still behind. This week I've actually put in some extra time at home trying to catch up, mostly on all the insane vocabulary the class has given us. One of my closest friends in town has moved into my building as of yesterday, so I'm way excited about that. A few weeks ago I started playing with the new Dungeons and Dragons group here on Sundays, uh, making a bunch of new friends from that group, uh, having a great time. Today is day 27 of my 31 days on the wagon and staying away from that evil thing called alcohol. And the biggest news I have is I got my retirement visa. I am good to go for the next year. I just have to make sure I do my 90 day reporting on time. So yeah, all around life is great, but that leads us back to that big question again. What does this all mean for Pete on retreat? Honestly, I'm not sure. I've had so much fun doing this whole YouTube thing, learning the whole process and sharing this crazy adventure that my life has become with everybody out there. There are two big results I have from this whole YouTube experience that I hadn't anticipated at all when I started and that are the two aspects I appreciate the most. Number one, I'm so excited to have all of these memories and adventures documented in this video format for me to look back upon as the years of my life continue to go on. I look forward to reliving all of these days through my vlogs and the time put into all of this is worth it for that experience alone. I had been doing the YouTube thing for months before I finally rewatched one of my older videos and realized what a personal treasure to myself these videos are going to become as I get older in life. Number two, man, I've met some cool people because of this channel. There's a small handful of people that live here in Thailand who have recognized me walking around or in a restaurant. Some of those I've become friends with or at least friendly acquaintances with. More than that, however, are all of the friends I've made with viewers who live abroad. There's several of you that I now call friends because you reached out to me before you came here to visit and then we had a great time hanging out together. Some of these new friends and I talk regularly throughout each week, even though they have no plans to come back for months. These connections I've made are one of the main reasons why I want to continue with this channel at all. It's hard for me not to think about all of the cool moments I can have or miss out on and all the possible friends I could be missing out on if I just stop doing this channel. So, is this the end of Pete on Retreat? Mm, maybe? Honestly, I'd like to try to edit another one of my Japan videos. I have enough content for another three or four videos and I think just the raw footage I have and the other vlogs I made there are going to be more entertaining than that first one. 
There's also still a bunch of videos that at least part of me would like to make about being here in Thailand. One truth I'm dealing with is that I've had a hard time finding motivation after one or some of my videos don't perform as well as I thought they would or do as well as I really think they should. That is not a good situation for a YouTuber to have. Video performance will always be hit and miss and somewhat sporadically random. I can't change that. If I'm going to continue doing this on any scale whatsoever, I need to do better at reacting to underperforming videos or possibly set lower expectations on myself. If I don't learn to deal with these disappointments better or make them non-existent to begin with, I know it's inevitable that eventually my motivation will not be enough to continue on with this channel. But that's not really a big challenge. It's just something I know I need to do. Sorry that I don't have a better answer for you, but that's really what it comes down to. This could possibly be the very last video for Pete on retreat. Whether this is the end or not, I want to thank all of you for following along and joining me on this journey. The community that formed around this channel has been so overwhelmingly positive. My friends, family and viewers on this channel have made my transition to retired life in Thailand as fulfilling as it's been. I appreciate so much all of the likes, the comments, and all of the subscriptions. If you'd be so kind as to leave a comment down below and like this video, who knows, maybe it'll be enough motivation to get me to go back and actually edit another one of my Japan videos. But even if you decide not to do that, I am incredibly thankful for all of the support that this wonderful community has given me. Signing off for possibly the last time ever from this lovely morning in Pratunak, Thailand. I want to again thank you all for watching. This has been Pete on Retreat and I wish you were here.